Beep, 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 bum. If I were a rich man, I would do. If I were a rich man. Now let's head up to the base. I wonder how jarring it has to be for the others every time Aloy shows up in a new outfit that's usually, essentially, her wearing the colors or style armor of, like, different clans. Yep. Yep. Doing the right thing. God damn it. The snowfall's blanketing the land. You need to go that way. Doors this way. I think. There we go. There we go. Lebes. All right, Aloy. Let's do this. To Like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really <laughs> do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. Getting it. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? Yes. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. We got a Doesn't medic, a hunter, bloom. a warrior. You should know your Tanakh's friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. He is a private man. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. Nice. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. God, they flirt. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Okay, then. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the Karcha. Why? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them. As it does to my people. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Come on, we can't hey. pass this up. Hey. A yeah, nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> That's nothing I can't handle. Right. These two are so awkward. I guess you know what we're up against by now. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Right. You and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try yeah. to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. Yeah. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. <laughs> so, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You but... shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. I can see why people ship these two. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. Yeah, that she does. She does that. I should get going. I just keep uh, practicing with this thing. He's so, he's so dweeby. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, oh, that's cool. learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. He's so awkward at this. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. I like how optimistic he is. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Mm -hmm. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. Oh, shit. And Old Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Mm. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. Weird. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. She, she does send, tend to miss the uh, better things. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. Told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. I can respect that. For a that. second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. People. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. Let's go I find them. She'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. Duh. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. I think Aaron's gonna be good once he gets the hang of it. How's everyone doing? 
just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. It's good. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. I like that Aaron discovered music and that's his, like, thing. And of all things, it's, like, the most loud and aggressive sounding thing ever. Very Barl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Here's a point. Have you gone back to playing song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. That's rough. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zeniths? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... Humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaro who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. Third time's a charm. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. So you just didn't want getting... I couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned. To demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. So how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. Food. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. But nice that they've taken to the Utaru ways very well. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. It News of is. my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. Oh shit, she was We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. No, you couldn't. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. You're we real ambushed tactics. smaller raiding parties. Sabotage their supply lines and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. 
Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. Nice. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Oh, shit. Before we knew it, the gates were open and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was. Not something I like to remember. When all part. the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, couldn't get it out of your head. It didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Hard choice. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. Letters. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. The reminder that Aloy's been doing this and she's been like a toddler, so to her it's natural. To these guys, it's like learning a whole new language. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. Metal's natural, though. I'm not saying why people think metal is not a natural thing. It's literally from the earth. Like, it's just refined. That's it. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. Yeah. But Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. <laughs> you could say that. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was <laughs> surprised to see she was you. Legged. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. It's called cloning. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. He's a very loud boy. Right. We I should probably him, go. We, we love Erend so I much. shall return to our training then. Okay, now where, where is he? I, I got it. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Like supplies. Oh, shit. That is sick. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. The old ones like to dance. Well, they didn't have to do less. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. Oh. I see. <laughs> That's it. What's this? Not bad, just... We're not judging, we're just, you know, nodding. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. 
I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Let's see what we can do. Anything good? Um, nope. 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 And nope. How you doing, Katala? Hey, Loy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. <laughs> I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia. And gave me this focus. I, I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome S to the team, then. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. They make I'm a lot told of she things. rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. How old is she then? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. Again, we love this guy. <laughs> He's so fucking dweeby. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So... I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This okay. Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? <laughs> Just a saying, Hephaestus should make him a prosthetic arm. Just so that he has, like, full... Uh, mo like, not motion, but full uh, access of his sk skills again. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. I like his color scheme. That's all you're going to tell me? You did promise Fine. me your past. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side. Oh. Allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That See? must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero. And I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Well, he was there at the same time as Zell. Interesting. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. It never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Route? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Route, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command. Even if I wanted to. That's actually... After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile. Mm. Geist as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal. And never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time. A marshal is what I was destined to be. He turned out as a damn good one. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Route. 
Deca, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and squadron leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. They're a And that is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. They're either paratroopers or just, um, like, uh, Air, Air Force Rangers, I think. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. <laughs> Indeed. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaro and your people. Door's always open here. I will. May the Ten walk with you. Again, I, I, I like this guy a lot. If, if only just because he's being forced out of his bubble. It's it's wholesome. It, it, it may be weird for him at first, but he's do, he's getting there. Is the door open? It's over here. It's over here. Door. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. Well, that's nice of them. thoughtful of them. Very thoughtful. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. <laughs> right. So I'm guessing that Varl brought all her stuff over. This is the rite of passage that Bashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. Some would say he did go home. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. That's so cool that we have our own room now. I love it. I need to visit this place more often, apparently, because apparently I missed everything. But no, I kind of wonder if uh, Nala is at the uh, the camp. I can go visit her. I really want to know about the, this boy she likes. That literally burnt like 20 minutes of game time just getting all the dialogue. Alright, let's talk to... to... Gaia, I got stuff. Welcome back, Aloy. Thank you. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Of course. Whoa. That's a cool hologram. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Okay. Aluthia. That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Isn't the Luthia bone that makes humans? I think that's what it is. SOS. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. A shrine. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. 
A distress signal. Save our ship. A desperate plea for help. Um, I will answer all this stuff in a minute. I just gotta be right back. Sorry about that. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. <laughs> you can't not Could the check. Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... The Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. We either way have to be very careful, regardless. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, Just beware. but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. We can't not check. It would be foolish to ignore the possibility that there's another subroutine we can save. Alright, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Thank you, it guy. Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. We. Oui. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. <laughs> Fine. Go grab your things. Yes. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Can you say I like that Brawl has a cape? Gaia. Hold on. B C A C G? No. The two three seven is just like it's really making me wonder what it can be. Still, that was very fucking smart of Gaia to be like, well, you're not gonna do it anyway, I'm gonna do it for Gaia is the supportive mom who's like, you need fucking friends. Shopping to make some friends. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. 
Good to know. I'll check it out. What's the new room? <laughs> I can. What, what's the new room? So, our enemy is immortal. No. No. <laughs> Looks like Arendt and Catalo moved their stuff in. I'm gonna bet this is all Aaron's crap. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. This one? Gaia? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. That sucks. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, they were meant to be a hollow room. Okay, that's cool. I'm getting the impression everyone's gonna move into a room. So we won't open. Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet. And this one is our room, right? Yep, this is our room. Okay, hold on. Uh, yep, this was the one that was responsible for humans. Hell yeah. Good to the fact that I guessed that one. 31%? Okay, we got 2% done. Like I said, we're maintaining a steady pace, so I'm not as, like, turbed. Valor on impact. Gain valor when you hit enemies. Eh, no, we, we need some other things. Concentration regen. Stamina regen. Food duration. Yes, please. Fucking Christ. Yeah, we need more traps. I hate them, can only do like so many at a time. Um, so wait, where do we need to go? To the northwest. So actually, maybe up there. Or it's that. Oh, wait, that's a call. Are we actually at Cauldron's Mark now? Hell yes. About fucking time. Um, A lot of things on hold. Oh, I, I have to do Cradle of Echoes. Yeah. Everything is on hold until we finish with Varl. That makes sense. Okay, boys. There she is. You ready to head out? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. She's got to accept that they want to help. They mean well, they're capable, and she's got to get over her whole isolationist thing. <laughs> Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? You can go back. <laughs> Is that a stalker? Stalker, okay. There's one of her, though. Merman. So it was a trap. What is that? Enough. What the hell? How did he? He actually got through her shield. Well, 
that takes the keg. That's... yeah. Wait, 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 the, how did he cut through her shield? Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. <laughs> Almost didn't make it. Doesn't help we don't know what oh, tribe the they're from. dampening sounds. You were able to beat a rat, but sure. Oh, that's 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 comforting. Again, how the fuck did he? Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. I really don't like how bears are so, like, sleek and shit. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. You get the feeling it's us. What a mess. For Benna. My name is Ver. Actually, I'm not going to judge the name. You know what? I'm just not going to judge the name. Destroyed or again? They just fucking went. Just not exactly my favorite, but I mean, uh, revelation. Um, your end, Varl. Trying this in my stash later. On a cave. That's interesting. Jeez, uh, it's given me a lot of supplies. I don't like that. When games give you a lot of supplies like this, dart stalkers, dart gun. Ah, uh, that's just a weapon. Charred weapon. Go check out what they found. The fuck were they using? Ah, ah, that weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. It's kicking in the damn snow. Actually, I don't think that. An Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Oh, I don't like that. I'm getting a bad vibe. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. I don't like this. I'm getting a very, very bad feeling. Suddenly. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that 
Makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress. If it blew up. That's the other thing. She Why did it go kaboom? For something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. He's picking up. Like, you've got to give him credit. He's picking up the lingo and everything very quickly. Showing that he isn't just the meathead who's not going to pay attention. He is trying to, you know, understand. What did you... F oh... On the cave. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, That's that right there. Down was a good visual. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go.